So I'll bow to the experts. It's near there, they know all the words. And if you need to take a little bit off the ends, I'll show you how to do that in a minute if they're a bit long. And all the ends should then come in and do. See this little bit we don't need. You can either leave that on or take it off, but it will make the box a little, that little bit bigger. But you don't need to take it off if you don't want to. <clears throat> but I'll show you now what I'm going to do now. So, folding the ends, like so, so you've got a flat surface, turn the box over, turn the ends in, like so, and then what we've got is the alpha knife, go to the corner, like so, and Cut that piece off. And make sure you get it out from the inside. So that that makes a nice corner for you. Let me show you what's happened. That's what we've done at the corner. There we are. Okay, then you go to the other side and do the same. Fold it over. Push it forward. I should have had a longer blade on here, but never mind. Hey. <laughs> As they say in Yorkshire. It doesn't matter if you cut through because it's gone into the card and it won't hurt the box because it's all going to be covered. So if you get rid of them bits because they will get caught up and if they're the right colour you won't see them until you've glued them into your next job. <laughs> they're horrendous, <laughs> horrendous they are. So there we are, that's the corners done. And if you so wish you can glue these in. What I tend to do now is put my knife on and cut these other little bits off the ends, these little these little flexi bits which we don't really need anymore. So I take them off because I don't want the extra build up. One on each end. Them little sort of half inch squares. There we are. It's not the best of papers to see the job what I'm doing in this. But there they are, there's the little bits that I've taken off. So what I think I'll do, I think we shall glue those up and uh, get them out of the way. Bend the ends over. I'm sorry I've gone out of shot there. I shall pull back a little bit here to allow you to see and do the end. Make sure I get a little bit into the seam so as it will glow up inside and then push the end in and over and do the other side the same. Press it as usual. I keep telling you to press not 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 do this don't rub press and there you'll see that once we do that that other little piece will now come over so that other bit that other bit that we had on the end was unnecessary and I'll do the same with the other end we've got a nice a little edge there now so I'll go to the other side and we'll do the same on the other side let's open it up Make sure there's a little bit along that end of the card where it soaks up the 
the end of the card soaks up more of the paste normally than or the adhesive than anywhere else. End bit first, making sure you haven't got any on your fingers when you're finished. And then the long piece. And this paper is wonderful to work with, it goes in first time, not like that other other paper that I use for Wendy's book and box. And there you have it. So we've got a beautiful edge now on that. All the corners have gone in nicely. And there you are. Now what we do is, to finish this other edge off, if you've gone over slightly, you can mark it with your your finger and give it a, a sort of a moulding so as you can see where to cut. But what I'm going to do is take a fraction off the end. I don't want it to go right to the end and come over because that will leave a little lip which is unsightly and also it's not necessary. And it's, it's a danger because it, it will catch on everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that edge just slightly, just take a little bit off with a steel roller just a small piece, that's all, not much and I know you can't see that so I'm going to have to put on my card underneath so that you can see what I'm doing it's very dark this paper, now you can, that's a bit better that's a bit better you can see now Put my steel roller underneath and I want to be just inside the box with this so I'll cut off the smallest of margins get rid of those pieces because they will stick up in unwanted places and now it abuts before the end of the box and with it a little bit that we do when we put the glue on it will stretch slightly so it will go quite close to the edge and it, it won't be seen okay so I'll glue that up and show you that don't glue the top bit yet just screw the, the side. I'm putting a bit of glue on here so as you can see what I'm what I'm doing. But you don't need a lot of glue on. Yeah, don't glue that top end in. Not yet. Okay, and press that over, and there you'll see we've got a nice edge without going over the end. And that was another little trick that I learnt from Sage Reynolds, and I do it all the time, and it works. And you've got a nice end that goes in quite sharp, and it's good looking. So we do the same on the other side. Uh, it's a little bit over again, it's a little bit out of shape and if it's if it's a big piece you've left on you can mould it at the end, turn it over and put your fingernail down it and you'll be able to see where, the, where to cut inside the moulding, you can see just inside there where actually where I've got to cut it so I'll put it on don't forget things are not straight so it may not may not look straight you're a bit worried but It'll be straight when you put it on the book. As long as it looks straight when it's on the box, it doesn't matter. Because it's optical, it's not it's not uh, it's not machine made this, it's homemade. So there's bound a bit of layers. <coughs> and that's what gives a, one of these boxes its uniqueness or anything that you make at home is the little errors that creep in. That's why it's called an art and not a science. I suppose I think I don't know. Book binding is an art, they say. 
it's a skill you've got to learn or you don't have to learn I mean it's going out of style now people are, people are not doing it anymore it's not it's not being done but it, I find it very enjoyable this it's something I don't have to exercise for <laughs> just, get, just get up and do it there we are push it in gently and you'll see that thing goes nearly up to the edge but not quite and it won't catch on anything now and it goes in relatively well and it's quite difficult to see you can match these up if you want it's quite difficult to do but you can match these colours ends and things up if you really want to but uh, use your bone folder if you want and there you are this is the odd little piece and it's quite difficult to see where where that starts and finishes especially with the pattern paper it's a, it's easier with a, a, a plain paper but uh, a little bit more difficult with the pattern so there we go okay so I'll stop there and uh, we'll do the little bits to the ends on the books that we normally do but I'll stop and give it a rest and let it uh, thing up before I do the, the last little bit okay what I've done is now I've um, cut the little bits at the end Quite, it's difficult to see. I've cut the little, little pieces out of the end uh, so that it falls over and leaves a little bit at, at the end there so it all fits in and touches together. On each corner, all the same, just a little bit that you saw that I did earlier on with the book. So, and the same on all the other sides. Just a little piece out, just a little V. You can see that it's there. People have different methods of doing this, but that's the way I do it. Cut the little V out. So there is a bit that sits on the corner and the rest of it will slide over into the box to make that hinge in properly. Like so. And all that remains now is let's move that out of the way. to glue in the sides putting a little, a, a little bit on the ed, end of the box and all this making sure that things fitted and were square now comes to fruition I'm gluing all the sides up just to save time because it's it's a simple little job this really it's not it's not difficult to make a slip case And you see how the little corners go in. Do the ends first and slide it over and you'll see the corner goes in quite nicely. A little bit finalising with your alpha knife. And I'm not really fighting this paper. Sometimes I fight the paper because it's a stiff paper or something. But this is, this is very, very pleasant, this paper, to work with and I haven't got much to do with it but I am going to press them corners in start from the middle and press over make sure that there's no bumps or lumps and press down with your fingers to make sure it's all gone in and if there is a little bit of thing it, it will take it up at the corners anyway it will uh, take up the excess and we should have a nice square edge all the way around half an inch half an inch with a nice pink insert inside the box 
And I'll just put it on the ground on the table and then see if I can get you a better shot. Press it, press it in. Make sure the corners are tucked in well because that's where it takes the damage if the book doesn't fit properly and it will catch everything. It's, it's important to make sure that everything goes in at this end because this is where the book moves in and out of. You'll see on my book there's no bowing or misshapenness or anything. It's not exactly true but it's it's not too bad. It's not the best I've made, it's not the worst I've made. And it's a bit early really to test it but I'm going to put the book in and there the book fits quite nicely. With that Raj rather large overhang which is deliberate uh, for uh, Dorothy so she can get her fingers on it to pull it out. It might be a bit heavy for her to hold up this way because I think she's arthritic so it won't do anything at the minute because it's a bit damp but uh, it'll slide in and out quite happily so I made that to the right dimensions. And uh, if there's no glue inside it you can leave the book inside to keep its shape while it's drying. So there you have it. There's your book. And your bookcase. I'll show you them both together and most people flash up at this stage but I'm going to show you um, what they look like both together. I'll just move my bits and pieces out of the way so I don't knock anything. So there you've got a pretty little bookcase and the final book. And the complete object, and that should be a nice little present. Oops, nice falling over present. And it should stand up, obviously, the same as the book should. They all should stand up. And uh, put the book in the case gently because it's still a bit, still a bit wet. And there you have it. the book in the case. There you go. The ribbon should have been pink, I know that. And I've probably left something out. I'm trying to think about what what it is, but at the moment I just can't think what it is. So I'll end there and uh, Hope this has been some use to somebody, and uh, I enjoyed making it. I enjoy making everything I do, even the mistakes. I keep the mistakes. People say, "What do you keep them for?" I say, "Cause I like a good laugh." <laughs> so there we are. That's that's it all made. I'll stop there.